Hey guys, and welcome to The Leftovers channel. Welcome to another Grocery Gang action figure review. I have been really excited to check these guys out. They're bright, they're vibrant, and really kind of disgusting. In the past, the last episode, we checked out Grot Dog. We looked at some of the different packaging, some of the different waves of these action figures. So if you want to hear a little bit more about, you know, the putrid power, we'll look at the boxes quickly, the Time War series. Uh, check out this review. It was the last one I did. Today, I wanted to focus on another one from the Bug Strike line, Captain Lice Cream. Uh, again, I love the vibrant colors. I love the design work and the details on these action figures. You get some cool graphics up here, a little bit of illustration of each of the grocery gang action figures. And as always, flipping the box over, we get a bio all about Captain Lice Cream with his rolling and bowling head. That is the cool um, play feature of this particular figure. The original line of Grocery Gang action figures from the Putrid Power toy line, they really came with some pretty uh, standard looking weapons. These guys have really ramped things up. You get some really cool weapons. Grot Dog over there had like a swinging mace. And Captain Lice Cream here has a feature where you can scoop and toss with a pop and roll out head. I guess we'll see that soon, but um, you get your quick bio there. You get a list of all the different figures available in this line. A lot of these are repaints. Uh, Putrid Pizza, Fungus Rise, Dodgy Donut, Grub Sub, Trash Head, Gooey Chewy. They were all in the previous Putrid Power Action Series line. Grot Dog, Captain Lice Cream, and General Iraq Attack are all the newcomers for the Bug Strike toy line. Uh, again, up here we get a little bit of information about the story behind these weird food characters and why they're fighting bugs. But if you hate reading, there's also the Grocery Gang cartoons. You can just go check them out online and see these characters in action. See them fighting, see them going up against the bugs that are out to get them. So I mentioned in the Grot Dog video that I love the packaging for these figures. Um, it's made to look like a boot, which I think is really cool. We can see the laces going down the side there. The front of the boot with the toes sticking out, a bit of tread on the bottom. And underneath the boot, we get like a little squashed bug there as well. So I do love the packaging for the Grocery Gang toy line. A lot of it, however, is filler. We can clearly see everything included here in the top, like half of the plastic. We get the action figure itself, a weapon for each of the figures, as well as the mini grocery gang character that the big figure is based off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this thing up um, with a bit of movie magic. So being so clever, incredible, smart, and intelligent, um, yeah, I already pre-cut the box. Ooh. We also get our ever important instruction manual. So it looks like there's kind of two action features here. One is the scoop that can fling the little um, gross thing that sticks in his head. And his head can also pop out and roll away. So that's kind of cool. I haven't seen one of these grocery gang figures with two different action features yet. Like I mentioned in the plastic itself, most of it's blank. You really, what you see is what you get. First and foremost, our little grocery gang member, Captain Lice Cream. We basically get a gross looking ice cream. And you can see with a lot of these figures on the back of the box, you get like a prototype version of it. The version that we get here in the packaging itself isn't doesn't have as many colors. The sculpting isn't as clean and nice. It really reminds me of the Playmates toys that I used to love as a kid, the Ninja Turtles, Toxic Crusaders, the Earthworm Jim toy line, a lot of those that I have reviewed here on this channel. Moose toys are doing a really good job with all that now. And of course we get our Captain Lice Cream toy with his weapon there. So I'll just pop him out of the packaging. come out in a few different pieces along with his ice cream scoop here as well. 
Like I said, I do really like the weapons for the Bug Strike toy line in particular. They look a little bit... There's more to them than they did in the original Putrid Power action figures. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this guy together. Ridge on the back, slides, clicks in. And this little thing on top is sticky like a grocery gang or a trash pack figure. And you can see there he attaches with a small little peg, clicks in and he just sits there. So as for the action features mentioned on the box, we can take our little green head welt guy, stick him in the scoop and I guess just manually flick him. There's no spring loading thing in the arm or anything. And we also have a button on the back of the figure that if we press, whoa. All right, okay. <clears throat> there is an incredibly strong spring inside the head. I thought it was just a rolling action, but um, yeah, it really does like shoot out. <laughs> so we have a, an incredibly vicious spring. So the spring head feature actually reminds me a lot of Earthworm Jim from the Playmates toy line. He also had a spring loaded head, which was a really cool feature that I thought at the time which really matched the um, the video game as well as the cartoon the figures were based off. Like I said, I keep drawing comparisons between these Moose toy action figures with the old school Playmates ones that I enjoyed so much growing up with, that I enjoyed the look of and the style and the details of. These guys are just <laughs> oozy, drippy, disgusting looking toys and I really appreciate that about them. So a lot of these toys all have very simple articulation. The legs and arms are on these like swivel ratchet style joints. They're prone to getting a little bit stuck. They're a little bit stiff and hard to stand up, but they do offer a lot of articulation for posing, especially when you get a couple of the vehicles that these guys can sit in and pose with. So that is Captain Lice Cream, one of my favorites from the toy line so far, especially from the Bug Strike toy line, which included a lot of like recolors and repaints. I love having the two different sort of action features here. I love the vibrant colors and he just looks like a disgusting chocolate ice cream. So in saying all that, please hang around, subscribe to the channel, check out a few of the other videos while you're here. Like I mentioned a few times, these guys really remind me of my favorite Playmates toy lines. And those reviews are all here on this channel as well. So yeah, stay tuned for more leftover culture. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time for some more. Cheers.